Hi, my name is Chris Couture. I'm a reinforcing iron worker by trade, and I've been clean for almost four years now. My name is Mark Oliveira. I'm one of the chefs here at Together We Can, and I've been in recovery for almost 10 years now. My name is Tyson Lacusta. I uh, am a longshoreman, and I've been clean for 18 months now. When I was in active addiction, I worked in the hospitality industry for almost 15 years. In this day and age, you know, there's lawyers, doctors, people in the hospitality industry of all, of all kinds that, that have this problem and are ashamed to talk about it because of the industry that they're in. And I believe that we need to be more vocal about it. We need to stand together and show that, you know, um, no one needs to be ashamed of this and we can all work together to find a solution. Because you get called junkie, you get called like lots of not friendly stuff and then you get this label that follows you around everywhere when you're at work and like a lot of people still know me as that junkie kid who crashed right so that's a challenge when you're like on the straight and narrow trying to do as good as you can and like actually being introspective and taking care of your life and stuff when people still just look at you and see a junkie right for many years i didn't know where to turn to for help I was very ashamed of my addiction and where it was leading me. Uh, it wasn't until I finally reached out and got the help that I needed that I was able to turn my life around and make some really positive changes. My work performance from when I was addiction to how I am today in recovery is night and day. <laughs> um, when I was in addiction, it was just like, let's just get the job done so we can punch out and and go do our thing. I think employers, unions, everyone can benefit from, from supporting their, their workers because the employee I was two years ago compared to the employee I am now, like the employee I am now is responsible. I show up to work early. I step out only when I'm told to. I, I am on time for all my stuff. Like I, I, I have a better work ethic. I'm not just like watching the clock to get out of there and go home. It's a uh, completely different mentality. Now it's about the passion, the love of food, the art of it, and, and presenting something that someone's going to enjoy. I'm now an employee who shows up every day on time. I put in 110% effort and I go above and beyond to help the company uh, be as the most profitable and safe company uh, there is. As soon as someone says that they have a drug and alcohol problem, they focus on drugs and alcohol. Let's focus on why they have a drug and alcohol problem. And the root of the problem is because most, in most cases, they've dealt with some sort of trauma that they're trying to numb. And that's what everyone needs to start looking at. A positive change that could happen with uh, unions and companies supporting their workers that struggle with addiction is checking in with them, offering ongoing uh, support, uh, counseling, uh, give them access to longer than 30 day stay in treatment. Uh, 30 days is usually covered by your insurance, uh, but I feel like it's something that it's more deep rooted and you can't get the answers you need in 30 days. We just need to feel like we matter to the companies and that we're not just another number. Most workplaces, I would be canned, gone forever. And even if I was on the men doing the best for myself, whatever, tough, you know? See you later, you messed up. And it wasn't like that. And it has, like, we are treated more than fair where I work. And I'm like extremely grateful for my, for my job. It's not a, just a job, it's a, it's a career. It's like, it's a, I feel extremely privileged. The number one component of, I believe, in recovery is one person helping another, right? And if I can't spread the, the word, and if we can't say that it's okay, and there's help, there's solutions, how is anyone ever gonna come out of that hole?